Hi students, today we are going to discuss an interesting topic, factorization. Factorization of a quadratic polynomial. Different methods are there, but in this video we are going to discuss the splitting the middle term method only. We know that the degree of a quadratic polynomial is 2, so it has only two factors. Keep these points in your mind. This is a very important topic. It is included in Kerala syllabus as well as uh, NCRT syllabus. Let's consider one example. x square plus 5x plus 6. Here the coefficient of x square I took 1 only. Such type of problems only we are discussing in this video. So for factorizing an algebraic expression of the type x square plus px plus q. Here q is the constant term, px is the middle term and coefficient of the middle term is p and coefficient of x square is 1. Such type of problems only we are discussing in this video. We find two factors a and b of q that means the constant term we have to find the two factors of the constant term such that a plus b equal to p and a b equal to q. Some of that factors should be p and the product of the factors should be q. Here q is the constant term and p is the coefficient of the middle term. So same example I am taking x square plus 5x plus 6. Here 5x is the middle term and the sum is 5, sum of the factors that is the coefficient of the middle term and the product of the factors that is the constant term it is 6. Here both are positive, both sum and product both are positive and for solving this we have to factorize the constant term that means 6. We know that the factors of 6 are 1, 6, 1 pair is 1, 6 and the second pair is 2, 3. Only 2 pairs are there. And we know that the product is positive. From this question we can understand the product is positive. And we know that if the product is positive means either the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative. So from each pair we can take 1, 6 and minus 1, minus 6. Two pairs are there. From 2, 3 we can take 2, 3 as well as minus 2, minus 3 because their product will be 6. And we have to select a pair such that the sum is 5. We know that sum is positive. So first we are taking the first pair 1, 6. And if we are adding 1, 9, 6 we will not get 5. So that pair we will not take. Second pair is negative 1, negative 6. In that pair also after adding we will not get 5 so we cannot take that pair also. The third pair 2, 3 after adding we will get 5. So that option is correct and the other options will be wrong but anyway I will explain that last option also. Minus 2, minus 3 is the last option and after adding it will be minus 5 our sum is positive. So we cannot take that pair also. Now come back to the question. x square plus 5x plus 6. That is a question. We are going to split the middle term. That means instead of 5x we are writing 2x plus 3x. That 2 and 3 we got from the uh, uh, factors. The correct factor. That means we have to write the same first term x square. Then split the 5x as plus 2x and plus 3x. Or either you can write 2x first in position or 3x in the first position. No matter. So here we are grouping first two terms and the last two terms. From the first two terms that means x square and 3x we can take x outside. So x in outside in the bracket we can write from x square we took only one x outside so remaining one more x is there and the second term 3x plus 3x from plus 3x we took one x outside remaining plus 3 is there that we have to keep in a bracket then plus 2x and 6 from 2x and 6 we can take 2 outside 
then remaining x plus 3. See, x plus 3 is common in both the terms. So, that x plus 3 we can take outside. Remaining x from first term and plus 2 from second term. So, we got two factors x plus 3 and x plus 2. I told it is a quadratic polynomial. So, we will get two factors. Here the first factor is x plus 3 and the second factor is x plus 2. Here I took the example as x square plus 5x plus 6. Both sum and product are positive. Next example is x square minus 4x minus 12. Here sum and product both are negative. Here the middle term is minus 4x. Sum is minus 4 negative and product is minus 12 that is also negative. So we will discuss all the four different types but the coefficient of x square is 1 that type only we are discussing. So here product is 12 so we have to factorize 12 without sign we are factorizing after that we will take the sign. So we know that the factors of 12 are 1 and 12 then 2 and 6 then 3 and 4. We know that the product is negative. Negative means either the first number is negative or the second number is negative. So from each pair we can make two more pairs. That means 2 negative 6, negative 2 6 or 3 negative 4, minus 3 4. So here we got total 6 pairs such that we the sum should be negative we have to select one pair such that the sum should be negative 4 so if we are uh, taking first pair 1 and minus 12 if we are adding we will not get minus 4 take the second pair minus 1 12 we will not get the sum as negative 4 then take the third pair 2 minus 6 after adding you will get minus 4. You must know how to add to integers. Then only you can do these type of problems. <coughs> Multiplication as well as addition of integers you must learn. It is already explained in my previous video. So you have to go through that. Then study this video. Here the fourth pair is minus 2, 6. You know that minus 2 plus 6 will not be minus 4. So that pair is also wrong. Then the, go to the next pair, 3 minus 4, it will be wrong. Minus 3 and 4, that also will be wrong. Only one option will be correct. So, here the correct option is 2 minus 6. We have to split the middle term minus 4x as 2x and minus 6x. With the sign we have to write. So, first term, same term, x square we have to write. Instead of 4x, we can write mm, plus 2x minus 6x and the last term also same we have to write then group it first two in one group last two in another group and in the first group x is common so x you take outside and inside the bracket from x square one x only we took outside remaining one more x is there from 2x only x we took outside remaining plus 2 is there then x plus 2 will be in the bracket and minus 6x minus 12 there minus 6 is common then only inside the bracket x plus 2 will come. So that way we have to arrange it. So x plus 2 is common in both the terms that x plus 2 we take outside then remaining x minus 6 that we have to keep in another bracket. So we will get two factors x plus 2 and x minus 6. So you must learn the uh, addition and multiplication of integers then do these problems. It is very important. So moving to the third example x square minus 7x plus 12. Here the middle term is minus 7x. Sum is minus 7 that is the coefficient of x. Product is 12 that is the constant term. Here also we have to factorize the product that is 12. Here product 12. So factors are 1, 12, 2, 6 and 3, 4. This we have already learned in our previous classes. Now product is positive. So either the numbers, both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative. So first pair 1, 12, second pair negative 1, negative 12. 
third pair 2 6 fourth pair minus 2 minus 6 next pair 3 4 and the last pair is negative 3 negative 4 we have to select one pair such that the sum is minus 7 that is negative sum should be negative 7 if we are taking the first pair 1 and 12 we will not get the answer as minus 7 second pair minus 1 minus 12 after adding we will not get minus 7 third pair 2 6 after adding we will get 8 only it is not equal to minus 7 so that also wrong fourth pair minus 2 minus 6 after adding we will not get minus 7 then next pair 3 4 after adding we will get 7 only our option is minus 7 so minus 3 plus minus 4 is minus 7 last option is correct so we have to split the middle term so come back to the question x square first term uh, same you have to write then split the middle term minus 7x as minus 3x minus 4x from the correct option uh, correct option is minus 3 minus 4 so here x also there so minus 3x minus 4x and the last term is plus 12 group it first two in one group last two in the other group from the first group x is common remaining x minus 3 from the last pair group minus 4 is common so remaining x minus 3 look at the brackets x minus 3 is common in both the terms that x minus 3 take it outside remaining x minus 4 keep it in another bracket so we got two factors here first in the first example both sum and product i took positive in the second example both sum and product I took negative and in the, this third example sum is negative and the product is positive. Okay, going to the last example x square plus x minus 12. Here the middle term is plus x, sum is 1. Plus x means coefficient is 1. So sum is 1, it is positive and the product is minus 12. Here product is negative. Anyway product is negative or positive whatever it is we have to factorize 12. The here negative 12 is the product so factorize 12 factors are 1 12 2 6 and 3 4 and product is negative so either the first first one is negative or second one is negative so first pair is 1 is minus 1 and minus 12 second pair minus 1 12 third pair 2 minus 6 fourth pair minus 2 6 last two pairs are 3 minus 4 minus 3 4 Either the first one positive or the second one positive. So we got six pairs. We have to select one pair such that the sum is one. Sum is positive. So if we are adding one and minus twelve, first pair is one and minus twelve, we will not get the sum as one. Second pair minus one twelve, we will not get the sum as one. Third pair two minus six, after adding we will not get one. 4th pair minus 2 6 after adding we will not get 1 then the next pair is 3 minus 4 after adding we will get minus 1 our option is our answer is positive 1 so that also wrong last option negative 3 4 here after adding we will get 1 so that is the correct option so instead of plus x the middle term we have to write minus 3x plus 4x so first come back to the question first term is x square middle term we are going to split that means minus 3x plus 4x last term same way minus 12 we have to write group it first two in one group last two in the other group from the first group x is common remaining x minus 3 from the last group plus 4 is common remaining x minus 3 see x minus 3 is common in both the brackets so x minus 3 take it outside remaining x plus 4 here also we got two factors first factor is x minus 3 and the second factor is x plus 4 i told it is a quadratic polynomial so we will get two factors and I, for factorizing an algebraic expression of the type x square plus px plus q that type only we have discussed where q is the constant term and p is the coefficient of the middle term we have to factorize the constant term q 
we will get a pair a and b such that the sum is p and the constant is q here the coefficient of x square is 1 such type of problems only we have discussed the other type we will discuss in the next video okay hope you would have understand the concept thank you